when you <sighs> pro- when you project in force, bad surprises tend not to happen to you. Yeah. So we're just sailing through the land here. All right, and just gonna march straight up. I don't think they left any garrison here. <laughs> We've almost evicted these fools. The locals Feels good. could have just taken it back. They could have just torn down all the Japanese flags. But all right, and then the final we could st- even start. Yeah, we could even start invading some Japanese islands. Honestly, and should let's start. We got I, as I said, just in case the Germans whoop the Soviets soundly. I think we need to start making progress against the Japanese so like, go ahead. immediately. Yeah, let's launch an invasion from here to this little island here. And then... Make sure we take the rest of New Guinea back, too, though. Yeah. We we, we have... Uh, I think we have plenty of... Uh, let's see. So that's cool. And then I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to select the remaining two divisions. There we go. And they're going to invade from here to here. If you want to see us um, struggling... Oh, Guadalcanal. There we go. If you want to see us struggling to learn how this naval invasion invasion system works, go watch our U.S. imperialism series. Where where we we spent a considerable amount of time figuring out how to do what I just did just there. Decryption, so we can keep knowing exactly what Germany is doing. How is the war oh, in the East outdated going? Outdated equipment. We need to swap out for our 5.5-inch uh, medium guns here. The Ost front is not stalled, um, but also not steamroll. It's it's about it's fairly balanced. They're actually making more progress in the south than they are through the interesting Soviet heartland. Um, if they take Sevast- Sevastopol, that's like the end. Sevastopol. Of- that's like the end of the Soviet uh, power projection in the the Black Sea. Yeah, see, since we have two smaller invasions, they each take long or shorter amount of time to prepare. So that's one advantage in, in Hearts of Iron of doing multiple invasions from multiple places. Because uh, if you want to do something like D-Day, it takes forever for the planning stage to actually finish. Makes sense when you think about yeah. it, though. Naval invasions it would, it would are be... logistical nightmares. Oh, Turkey has been called in as our enemy. Yeah, um, naval invasions would be way unbalanced if they didn't take so long to prepare. Because uh, it, it would just be too easy to just gank people, basically. Oh, wow, we're actually... there's This is actually a battle of Guadalcanal. We're actually having to fight our way onto the shore... It's going well, though. Yeah, I mean, they, they they have way fewer men. They have a much better position, and we don't have Marines, but, yeah, I think our numbers advantage is going to um, win out. Actually, we'll... Since these guys took that island unopposed, we'll try to attack with uh, our full force here. Two divisions. Are they preparing? I think so. It should be. I don't see a timer, but... Oh, plan is considered to be risky? I don't know. Oh, maybe I... Maybe I messed it up. Maybe I need to, uh... Yeah, I need to delete that order there. Okay, so we need, once again, still trying to figure out how to do this this order correctly. Naval invasion from here to here. Go. There we go. All right. I had accidentally told them to invade from Guadalcanal to... Yeah, it was like, what? (laughs) What? (sighs) Though I don't think they'll get there. Yeah, we might be able to win just with what we have. Um... We're losing organization, but you'll notice we're not really losing men. We're at 94, 100% And they're just in dire and strength. They're, yeah, they're at like half strength already, and they're just losing more guys. So The uh, the glorious Anzacs won the Battle of Guadalcanal without U.S. help in this timeline. 
And uh, we're gonna. They don't have any more ports left, so it's just gonna be a. They're gonna have to fortify the jungles, and we're coming after them. That's. And we're gonna start driving, thrusting upwards after this. Island hopping in detail, I believe you could describe as what we're about to. Giggity. <laughs> thrusting upwards. <laughs> That's just called good technique right there. <laughs> it is. All right. So we get another research collaboration with the British, I guess. We'll take it. And, uh... Let's use our new research slot, man. We that, That's the one we're working oh, right on, on right now. We should have gotten some more military factories from that, though. I don't know why that did increase our production. I'm sure they would have uh, been fighting quite... Uh, Excellent. yeah. If, if Let our troops reunite and let's push up. So I think probably we're going to want to secure... These islands. These islands here. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's basically Japan's only means of power proje projection towards our, our buds in NZ. Um, and and let can, the United States do its thing up there while we're doing that. They are doing their thing. I don't know why they brought that many motorized divisions to take... Unless that's a garrison. I guess if they're making a, a marine mechanized company or something like that. Delete all orders. We are going to launch from Guadalcanal. And we're going to try to invade whatever this is. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. We assign all four divisions... We have absolutely yeah. crazy political power. That was one of the things in the design of this game I think needs attention even further in future expansions. Yeah, there's not really much, if you're, especially if you're a um, democratic country that can't... I mean, I guess we could be trying to stage democratic coups in fascist nations, but other than that, there's not really much to use your political power on once your government is established. Um Italy is giving Greece fits. Yeah, although Greece, I mean, freaking invading uh, the Peloponnesus is a pain in the ass in this game. There's one one way in, unless you naval invade, and this terrain is just hugely, hugely favorable to the defender, especially if they build forts on it. I've heard, I've seen Greece hold this, you know, just the Peloponnesian Peninsula for. Years and years and years. Germans are making gains. Yeah, they're they're closing in on Kiev and Minsk. I'm not that impressed with their progress so far. Um, I've seen them do much better, even with the AI. Um, yeah. These guys are almost halfway to veteran. Get some better recon companies. Do we, did we not actually... Okay, we're still... I thought we got the research agreement with the U.S., though. Oh, that's just... Okay, so that's just discounts that we get from that. We don't actually get a research slot. I was going to be like, holy shit, we're going to get... We're going to get five research slots as a minor nation. But I guess we're not... Uh, we're we're not that lucky. We're going to get four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to take these islands back, too. We can probably spare another small task force to do that. Let's grab... We don't really have many veterans. There you go. That's enough. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, we'll put these guys, assign them to Henry Winter. And we're going to naval invade. Excellent anti tank rifles. The Bren Mark III. Hell to the yeah. And we'll launch from here to here. Looks like it's all one area, yeah. so. But. Abstraction! Hey! Uh, some divisions have not reached the start position. Yeah, they have. They're being attacked. No, that's, that's a Japanese transport with zero organization. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah, we're, we're denying them naval bases left and right. Oh, uh, the U.S. took it. No, that's... Oh, it's us? Blue's us? That's us, yeah. All right. 
Next. Um, I don't know why they're going back, but might as well uh, plan another invasion <laughs> with the one division we have here. I doubt that this is well defended. No divisions. Where did they leave? It's U.S. territory. They took it. Oh, no, this is, uh, I'm on the wrong army here. <laughs> All right, so we want this army. This guy, who's standing out in the middle of the water, I want you to invade right there. Go for it. You did hear my order correctly. Okay, there we go. He wasn't on the right province. So we have exiled divisions. France. We're in the same faction as France. They should be at they should be exiled for being <laughs> allied territory. And I guess these guys these guys decided not to do the order. They were, they were, they had a headache or something, so, um, yeah, we'll just draw a separate order for them. And they can show up a couple weeks later if there's still a problem. <laughs> yep. Meanwhile, Winter's guys are getting ready. They're almost ready. Encryption, so no one can tell what we're doing. That seemed buggy. I think you might be right. I think maybe the French landed there right before we did. Mm hmm. And then that kind of screwed everything up. But... Yeah, the Japanese must be really tied up because they don't even have any destroyers taking pot shots at our invasion forces. I'm going to take Suva uncontested. Yep. Nothing. Apparently, it's a British core because they're getting to keep it instead of us. But. So that must have been a British possession that fell into Japanese hands at the outset of the war or something. Yes. Yes. Mining. Yes. Now we have four research slots. Uh, and our uh, construction still ahead of time. And oh, by the way, our research agreement is going to be a further plus 10% to splitting the atom, so nice. We're gonna get that very fast. Well, it doesn't cut kick until forty-five. We can get uh, the Electrolux SMLE CAR, which I'm sure was a real thing that someone in the comments will tell us about. Yeah, absolutely. The United States stands against fascism. They, yes, they do. I don't think we needed a declaration of that so much. We'll I take think, it though. I think uh, that was already. Pretty clear from, Thanks, their, mates. from their actions. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, we've secured this island. Um, the Japanese are in headlong retreat across the Australian theater. And I think that's going to be it for this session, at least. Um, we've started the counteroffensive. We've started pushing the Japanese back. We have, have our boats launched to go... Take our oh lacks sufficient intel. We'll probably have to deploy some destroyers over here or something, because there are no U.S. or Philippine fleets here, so we can't actually mm -hmm. invade it. But yeah, we're contributing on the Pacific front with our our four rolling them back veteran divisions here. We'll probably bring them home just to get rid of that freaking exiled thing, which I don't think I think that was a bug, but. Yeah, we'll take we'll take as many islands from them as, as we can get. Oh look, and uh, the UK strangely have not taken back Hong Kong, but they've taken back everything around Hong Kong and are So the uh, Japanese are in trouble, but not a moment too soon because the Soviets are being pushed. Yeah, they're being pushed back. Um, theoretically speaking, especially now that Turkey is in the Axis, the Soviet Union should fall. Um that would, that would highly be my prediction. If I were playing an al allied major, like if we were playing the U.S. or we were playing Britain, this wouldn't worry me. Although they, they've lost most of their territory in Africa. We'll see. I hope 
I hope that we have a strong axis to contend with. I really want to give you guys an exciting game that doesn't go exactly as, as it did historically, so we'll see. Um, hasn't been a successful D-Day landing yet, so that's definitely, uh, that's definitely something that points to a strong axis, but... Yeah, um, check out loresworn.com. That's our website. We have our Games of the Year posts up there right now. Um, the the ten games I picked and the ten games DM picked as as our favorite games we played this With year. Almost no overlap. Yeah, That's only only three games appeared on both lists, and each of our top two did not appear anywhere on the other person's top ten. Um, so it was very uh, very diverse list this year. We we didn't have a lot of consensus. Um, and we might do a video on that where we just discuss our picks I, sometime I soon. I think that's yeah. likely. I think especially that'd be a lot there of fun. there were there were two games that like if you tallied it all up, we both really agreed were really great games this year, and we definitely want to talk about those. Um, and yeah, at Lore Sworn Order on Twitter, I'm at AsaTJ. That's A S A T J. DM is at DM Schmeier. You can find out how to spell that in the description of the video because it takes a long time and we'll see you guys Just tell next Meyer time. to sh with an SCH. That's, yeah, it's uh, it's spell it spell it the German way and if you know German you will probably get it right on the first try. So the the big thing too <laughs> to look out for guys oh, yeah. is uh, our big move, less than 30 days. Yeah, moving um, uh, closer to Denver, closer to networking, all that good stuff. Better paying jobs, etc. And yeah. um, we're looking to upgrade and update our equipment. So keep uh, keep an eye out for that. That'll mean a lot of cool things. Yeah, a lot more multiplayer stuff where we both actually can show our perspective. <laughs> yep. Yep. Later, guys.